It was a story we first brought you right here on City News. The date, November 22nd, 2015. Two women downtown for a charity event were walking here southbound on Bathurst. What they didn't know is one man, inebriated, was barefoot on that cold afternoon, running, jumping on top of cars on Front Street. As he came across the bend, he ran into the two women, punching one of them. And that is when a car full of clowns came to the rescue. I screamed as loud as I can, get in the car, get in the car. I, we whipped open the back door, they jumped in. Oh, he's banging the car! Drive, drive, drive! Oh, Jake, not my mirror, you ass! Just <laughs> busted my mirror off the car! It was a November to remember for a car full of clowns and two women, victims of an assault. The whole incident captured by a dashboard camera. Oh, oh, he just punched the lady. Punch, Ma'am, we just called the police on him. We got the police coming. Here he comes, look out, look out! That voice is the most unlikely of heroes, Dudu the Clown. Probably the most overwhelming moment was when I was sitting with you um, in the newsroom afterwards and watching the video for the first time. The suspect has been charged with assault and mischief and is set to appear in court on December 12th. In the video, you see the suspect punch Deanne Sonnenberg in the arm. Reflecting on the events nearly a year ago to the day, Sonnenberg tells City News about the lasting effect from the traumatic experience, which at the time was no laughing matter. You're just a little bit more aware, a little bit more observant. Uh, you know, if something looks a little off. I'm sure there's not going to be a car full of clowns there to save me the next time something crazy happens, but uh, I think it just makes you a little bit more, you know, suspicious of people that are acting a little strange. Sonnenberg has never seen Doo Doo the Clown since that frightening incident that was until today. I love Doo Doo and I'm very grateful for him being there that day. He was, um, he was amazing. Oh my God! Oh my God! Ah! <laughs> Doo Doo! Unbelievable! <laughs> A year later. A year later. Hello oh there. my <laughs> gosh. A warm embrace and reunion by two perfect strangers brought together by one of the most unusual stories this reporter has ever told. Who gets picked up by a car full, a Hummer full of clowns with a dash cam? The whole year flew by. It's been wonderful um, that everyone's been so nice about uh, us and you know, the world needs some good stuff and... Uh, and people should embrace clowns. I, I, love I personally <laughs> have a lot of affection for clowns because Thank of what you. you did for me. Oh, oh that's, that's awesome. great. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank oh you my so God. Much. Since our story first aired, Judy the Clown has received a letter from Premier Kathleen Wynne, even a letter of commendation from the City of Ottawa. He's also been honoured here in Toronto. For a clown who's been working professionally for 35 years, Dude has brought smiles to thousands of people over those years, though he says now he is the recipient of a whole lot of joy and happiness. In the words of Dude the Clown, unbelievable. Adrian Gobriel, City News.